In this video, we'll be taking you through what a tree survey is and how they are carried out, as well as how a tree survey can aid your planning application with local planning authorities in Cheshire. A tree survey, in short, consists of an arboriculturist assessing the number, health and ecological value of trees on a proposed development site to produce a report to assist your planning application. Local planning authorities across the UK are required to check the impact that a development project could have on trees and vegetation in the immediate area. Trees are protected under the Town and Country Planning Act 1990 and the Planning Listed Buildings in Conservation Area Act of 1990 particularly through the use of conservation areas and tree preservation orders, or TPOs, to protect specific tree species or woodlands. This may mean that areas within towns, cities and villages may be affected by a TPO to reduce or mitigate the effects of building on the local ecosystem. A tree survey helps to ensure that these natural assets aren't disrupted as a result of carrying out a development project. What does a tree survey involve? The BS5837 tree survey itself consists of three stages. Stage 1. The tree survey plan. This is a drawn plan showing the location of every single tree in the specified area to the exact scale. Stage 2. Scheduling. Each tree is given a unique reference number which is the first stage of the 11 point schedule for every tree in the area. The scientific and or common name of each species will be noted. If there is a tree preservation order or it has conservation area protection, it should be recorded. Measurements and an evaluation of each tree will be taken, such as height, stem diameter, the branch spread, age class, physiological and structural condition, and the remaining useful life of the tree. The arboriculturist will produce a tree quality assessment. This uses all the gathered data to categorize trees for removal or retention. Stage 3. The Constraints Plan This must show the following five things for each tree in the area. Accurate position and crown spread, tree quality assessment, root protection area, future growth potential, ground spread and height, and the shade footprint throughout the day based on further growth potential. Based on these observations, the professional arboriculturist will determine whether the presence of trees will conflict with the aims of the development project. And if they do, they will need to find ways of altering the project to avoid causing harm to the trees present. Then, if this isn't possible, they can use a grading system to rate the quality, value, life expectancy and physiological and structural condition of each tree. Using this system, they can make informed decisions for each tree that will be impacted by the development based on relocating or destroying them. Cheshire West and Chester Council have long advocated for the benefits that trees bring to the environment and people of the borough. Joining initiatives such as the Mersey Forest and setting a target for the county to become carbon neutral by 2025. As a result, planning officers will take any tree issue very seriously when making their determinations. However, this isn't an insurmountable obstacle. Indeed, the local authorities are keen to move forward with significant developments, notably under the Chester 1 city plan. Ultimately, if your development will interfere with even one off-site tree, you are obligated to take this into account. Failing to do so could lead to you being refused planning permission. We recommend that to be certain, you ask your local planning authority directly if you require a tree survey before granting planning permission. We hope this quick explanation has helped answer some of the questions you have. If you have any further questions or need advice, feel free to contact us and one of our advisors will be happy to help you out. 